vehicle. It's been fleeing from officers, but it has been it, driving safe. I'm doing the air quotes because it's one of those things, well, it is a stolen vehicle. He is being pursued by officers, but he does seem to stop, or she seems to be stopping at the uh, stoplights. Any one of the red lights, they'll always kind of come to a stop. They'll wait for those lights to grind, turn green. And made a right turn, and he's heading down, uh, back, back down. Wait a second, right turn? Okay, eastbound Anaheim. There he is, there he is, thank you. And you can see there's a CHP that's behind it. You can see the work truck right there. This pursuit continuing, and we're making our way towards that direction right now. Okay, and so far, as you mentioned, the driver of that stolen vehicle, that work truck, seems to be driving pretty safely, stopping at red lights. You know, it begs the question, a lot of people wondering how these pursuits start, how they are conducted, how they end. And then obviously, when they stop at these red lights, you would think, you would go get them, right? But it's not so easy. Yeah. You know, it's not so easy because, you know, law enforcement, they just don't know what they're dealing with. They do know that that is a stolen vehicle, and you can see it right now. Speeds are really starting to change. It's the, that whole sight picture is starting to change. 70 miles an hour. We're on Anaheim. He's moving around down there. A lot of traffic, and this is what the California, any law enforcement doesn't want to deal with. They don't want to see anybody get injured. That's going to be the 110 freeway right there. Getting a little bit closer. I'm going to do some uh, camera work right here, but you can see that vehicle snell moving along on Anaheim and at almost 70 miles an hour. Now this is definitely not an area that you know you're gonna it's probably posted at 3540. So a lot of folks are not expecting that. And again, stolen vehicle, that might have been what got their attention. And a lot of times we don't know exactly, but a lot of times a DWP truck like that will be running at a site. Somebody might have just got into it. It might be a crime of opportunity. And then again the officers from uh, California Highway Patrol, they got behind it, they tried to stop it and then this uh, the pursuit was ongoing you can see the vehicles the california highway patrol on the ground they backed off probably because of those extreme high speeds they're going to kind of give this person a little bit of room hopefully he's going to make some good decisions made a couple of bad decisions here's another one driving against traffic making a turn right there coming northbound on a smaller on a smaller road door is open uh, uh, mike mike get over to the right over, oh, over to the right go. over to the right over to the right Mike. Getting out of that car, Mike. ditching Ugh. that orange work vest, it appeared that the driver was wearing. This Mike. looks like now an industrial area. Again, we are following this police pursuit right now in the Wilmington area. This looks like a stolen DWP or Caltrans work right. truck. And Skyfox overhead trying the, uh, their best to get a vantage point of this driver who looks like he just opened the, the door of that vehicle and got out running. Here is the suspect they believe right now. Oh, no, that's a police officer. Right there, it's hard to being see. taken into yep. custody. Stop right there, Mike. Stop right there. There you go. You can see that uh, suspect getting it, being taken into custody right there in front of a store. But it, it was a, a, you know, the only positive about all of this is nobody was injured. Again, California Highway Patrol and the LAPD helicopter above doing the right things today. Basically, you know, they backed down at the right time. That vehicle was driving at high speeds at some point on those roadways. No injuries to anybody. But you can see that that suspect now in custody. That vehicle on the other side of this, on the other side of the building right there, and it just kind of abandoned, which is also good. They didn't leave it rolling. They could crash into another vehicle or a pedestrian. California Highway Patrol taking that suspect into custody in here in the Wilmington area. But again, the only the real positive is here, again, is good work from law enforcement. No injuries to civilians. No injuries to law enforcement. And that suspect, he might have a couple of bruises. But in the end, that's probably the best way for the best ending for this type of situation. Thank you so much, Stu and Sky Fox, the crew up there uh, making, you know, all your hard work worth it. It's a woman. Oh, it's a female. Okay, it's a woman <laughs> yes. driver, the suspect that was in this allegedly stolen work vehicle. But again, as you mentioned, Stu, the best outcome in all this is that nobody was hurt. And